Ever felt a pang of homesickness while being miles away from home? You're not alone. Homesickness is a universal experience, a poignant reminder of the places and people we hold dear. It's common, especially among those who frequently travel for work, like flight attendants. The skies may be their second home, but that doesn't make the longing for their own hearth any less real. In this video, we're going to delve into the world of homesickness, shedding light on this often overlooked aspect of constant travel. We'll explore the realities, the emotional roller coaster it can be, and most importantly, how to cope with it. From maintaining connections with your loved ones to creating comforting routines, we will share practical strategies that can help ease the pangs of homesickness. So, if you're feeling that familiar tug of home, don't worry, you're not alone, and there are ways to manage it. Stay tuned for some practical tips and strategies to help you cope with homesickness. First, understand what homesickness is. It's more than just missing home. Homesickness, in its essence, is a complex emotional response to being separated from our familiar environment and the people we love and cherish. It's like a deep longing, a tug at your heartstrings, a yearning for the comfort and security of home. Think about the smell of a home-cooked meal, the sound of laughter echoing through the house, or the comfort of your own bed. These are the things that make a place home, and when we're apart from them, it's only natural to feel a sense of loss. But let's delve a little deeper. Homesickness isn't just about missing the physical aspects of home, it's also about the emotional and psychological connections we've established with our surroundings. It's about the routines, the habits, the shared experiences. It's the feeling of being part of a community of belonging. Now what causes homesickness? The triggers can vary greatly from person to person. For some it might be a particular smell, a song, or even a type of weather. For others, it could be a special occasion or festival that they're missing out on. The impacts of homesickness can be profound, affecting both our mental and physical health. On a mental level it can lead to feelings of sadness, anxiety, or loneliness. Physically, it can manifest as fatigue, lack of appetite, or trouble sleeping. But remember, Feeling homesick is a completely natural response. It's a testament to the bonds you've formed, the love you've shared, and the memories you've made. It's not a sign of weakness or immaturity. On the contrary, it's a sign of your ability to form deep, meaningful connections. So don't be too hard on yourself if you're feeling homesick. It's okay to miss home. It's okay to yearn for the familiar. But also remember that understanding your triggers, the sights, sounds, or events that evoke these feelings can be a powerful tool in managing your homesickness. Knowing what triggers homesickness can help you manage it better. So as we move forward, let's explore some practical strategies to cope with homesickness no matter where life might take us. One of the most effective ways to combat homesickness is to stay connected. We live in a world that is more interconnected than ever before, and this can be an invaluable resource when you're thousands of miles away from those you hold dear. It's important to remember that even though you may be physically distant from your loved ones, that doesn't mean you have to be emotionally distant too. Think about it this way, you're not just a flight attendant, you're also a loved one, a friend, a sibling, a parent, or a partner. These are roles that don't pause when you're up in the air, they continue to be a part of who you are. And maintaining these connections can be a powerful antidote to the loneliness and longing that homesickness brings. So how do you keep these connections strong when you're on the other side of the world? Let's talk about some practical strategies. Firstly, make the most of technology. Video calls are a fantastic way to see the faces of those you miss and share in their day-to-day -day lives. There's something comforting about being able to see your loved ones in real time, even if you can't be there with them physically. Next, don't underestimate the power of social media. It can be a great tool for keeping up to date with what's happening back home and for sharing your own experiences abroad. Whether it's a quick update on a layover, a snapshot of your hotel room, or a heartfelt message on a special occasion, these little glimpses into each other's lives can go a long way in bridging the distance. Lastly, there's the traditional phone call. There's something about hearing a familiar voice that can be incredibly soothing. It may not have the visual element of a video call, but it has its own unique charm. Remember, it's not about how often you communicate, but rather the quality of your interactions. It's about making sure that when you do reach out, it's meaningful and genuine. Feeling connected can significantly reduce feelings of homesickness. So don't let geographical distance turn into emotional distance. Keep those lines of communication open. 
and let the love from home fill your heart, no matter where you are in the world. Another practical strategy is creating a home away from home. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, it's all about personalizing your living space to create a sense of familiarity and comfort, even when you're miles away from your actual home. This is a particularly important strategy for flight attendants who spend a lot of time in unfamiliar environments. Think about the things that make your home feel like home. Is it the scent of a particular candle? The feel of your favorite throw blanket, or maybe it's a favorite book or a cherished family photo. Whatever it is, consider bringing these items along with you on your travels. They can act as touchstones to your own space, providing comfort and reducing feelings of homesickness. Having a familiar routine can also help create a sense of home in a new place. Maybe you start each morning with a cup of tea and a crossword puzzle, or perhaps you end each day by reading a chapter of a book. Whatever your routine may be, sticking to it can provide a sense of normalcy and routine amidst the chaos of travel. If you're staying in a hotel or temporary housing, take some time to personalize your space. You might not be able to paint the walls or change the furniture, but you can still make the space feel more like you. Hang up some photos, bring a favorite pillow or blanket, or even just arrange the furniture in a way that feels comfortable and familiar to you. Remember, Creating a home away from home isn't about replicating your entire house in a new location. It's about bringing elements of comfort and familiarity into your temporary space. It's about creating a haven, a place where you can relax and feel at home even when you're not. And finally, don't forget to give yourself time to adjust. It's normal to feel a little out of sorts when you're in a new place. But, with a little effort and a few familiar items, you can create a comforting space that feels like home. A familiar environment can make a foreign place feel less alien. So next time you're packing your suitcase, don't forget to pack a little bit of home too. Keeping yourself busy is another great way to distract from feelings of homesickness. When you're engaged in something you love, you're less likely to dwell on the things you miss. So what's your passion? Is it painting, reading, fitness, or maybe something else entirely? Dive into it. It doesn't matter if you're halfway across the world, your love for your passion will always be with you. However, it's not just about doing what you're already familiar with. Being in a new place presents a golden opportunity to explore and discover. Take advantage of your surroundings. Every city, every country has its unique charm and beauty. Make it a point to visit local attractions, try out local cuisine, or even learn a bit of the language. The thrill of discovery can be a powerful antidote to homesickness, but hey, it's not just about the places, it's about the people too. Making new friends is another fantastic way to keep yourself busy. I know, I know, the thought of making friends as an adult can be daunting. You're not alone in feeling this way. But remember, it doesn't have to be complicated. Start with a simple hello to a coworker or a neighbor. Engage in local events and gatherings. You'll be surprised at how these simple interactions can lead to meaningful connections. By keeping yourself busy, you're not just distracting yourself from homesickness. You're also enriching yourself. You're learning growing, and making memories that you'll carry for a lifetime. Plus, these new experiences and friendships give you new stories to share when you do get back home. It's a win-win situation. Remember, being homesick is normal. We all feel it at some point, especially when we're away from the familiar comforts of home. But with these strategies, it can become more manageable. So, go out there. Explore. Connect. Live. And remember, home isn't just a place, it's wherever you make it. Let's quickly recap what we've learned about coping with homesickness. We started by understanding what homesickness truly is. It's a natural emotional experience that can be managed effectively. We then dove into practical strategies to help you cope. First, we emphasize the importance of staying in touch with loved ones. Thanks to modern technology, it's easier than ever to maintain those vital connections that remind us of home. Next, we discussed how creating a home away from home can help. Personalizing your space with familiar items can provide a comforting touch of familiarity, no matter where you are. Finally, we looked at the value of keeping busy. Engaging in activities you enjoy not only distracts you from missing home, but also helps you create new memories and experiences. With these strategies in your arsenal, you're now better equipped to handle homesickness. Safe travels, and remember, home is just a call away.